I'm Stephen Burgess. Uh, I'm involved in the module CPA 140, which is called the Geographical Imagination and Introduction to Human Geography. And it's a first year course, runs in the first semester, and it's taken by human geography students and also geography and planning students. What is human geography? How many times have you been asked that question? Or told that human geography is just colouring in? Or asked what's the capital of the Central African Republic? Well, that's great when you're watching Pointless, but is that human geography? What is human geography? That's an important question. You're going to be asked that many times over the next few years by your friends, by your housemates, by an elderly relative over Christmas dinner, by a prospective employer. So you need an answer to that question, and this module helps you get an answer to that question. So in the first session, we start with two key ideas. The first is the idea of the geographical imagination. And that's the particularly unique ways that geographers look at the world and learn about the world and ask questions about the world. Now that geographical imagination is influenced by different things. It's influenced by methods, by philosophies, by ideas, by concepts. And through that geographical imagination, geographers contribute unique understandings to the world or unique understandings about the world. And there's a second concept that we're going to look at, and that's the idea that geography and the understandings that it makes are both contested. So there are different opinions about how the world is and why it's that way. And there are different opinions about what geography is and what geographers should do. Now in the module, we're going to help you develop your own answers to those questions. To questions like, what is human geography? How do geographers help us understand the world? And what should human geographers do? In these sessions, we're going to cover some key concepts. These are concepts that staff in the school have identified as important and key geographical concepts for geography in general, but also for your academic degree. These are concepts like mapping, like politics and power, like identity, like globalisation, like sustainability, like justice. And you're going to look also at the links between those concepts. But more than that, I'm going to encourage you to think across all your modules, to bring together ideas and thinking from everything you're doing, and bring them together to help develop your thinking about what a human geographer is and what a human geographer should do. You're going to be encouraged to use different methods to think about what is human geography and what is a human geographer. Yeah, I'll talk to you in the lectures, give some lecturing, but also you'll be encouraged to read around your subject. Read the journals, the books, read other sources, but talk to each other. Talk to staff as well. Talk to the peers on your course. Think around things. As you talk, you think around ideas. Also engage with the class tasks. We have a series of non-class tasks, of stuff that you're going to do outside the classroom and bring back into the session. Engage with those and also engage with my feedback from those tasks. But really importantly, start applying all this stuff to the things you see around you every day. So start to look at the world as a human geographer. And that's what I'm going to encourage you to do. So that's it. That's the geographical imagination and introduction to human geography in about a minute. I really, really enjoyed teaching this course. And I hope you'll enjoy taking it. And by the way, the capital of the Central African Republic, it's Bongi.